I want to address those who have uh, showed concern about the uh, uh, the ultimatum given to Ebuko B. And some of those who are saying that uh, the young man is abusing uh, pastors and men of God in Nigeria. Because they are in Nigeria, they are not in Biafra land. Ebuko B is not in Biafra land. Ebuko B is in Nigeria, in Yoruba land. I want to make it very clear. The Biafra we are all fighting for is a Biafra where human rights will be supreme. Where the right to freedom of worship must be respected. Where the freedom of speech will also be supreme. Just like what I am enjoying here in Finland. Freedom of speech. And I want to remind those who are showing this concern that the young man called Matthias is very insultive. I want to ask them, when the Christianity come to our land, did they not insult us? Did they not insult our ancestors? Did they not insult our elders? Did they not insult our culture? It is not just only insult. They attacked our culture physically. And they continue to do so. Have anybody arrested them for attacking the culture? The answer is no. They did not only attack the culture. Some of our traditional way of worship were physically destroyed and burnt to ashes. What more is more than that? They say the young man should mind his business. He is enjoying and exercising the right that the Biafra government will give to every Biafra citizen. The right, the freedom, and above all, the rule of law will also be supreme in Biafra land. So anybody saying that the young man is a very insultive, insulting pastors, I want to ask you how many oracles have been burned in your village. We are not supporting anybody using the traditional way of worship of the Biafra people to perpetrate evil. But that, our root, we are going back there. We are going to live a realistic life in Biafra. Those who use the name of God to perpetrate evil in Biafra land will be dealt with in due time. And Ebukobi is one of them. Unless he repent and change. I have not exposed him. A lot of home has been destroyed by Ebukobi. I am too busy to remember him at this point. But for time being, he must not take the law into his own hand by in proxy arresting those who exercise their freedom of speech. Secular Advocacy TV feels that this is the right time for true secularism to prevail in Africa. Happy Ephes Day shout out to all. Let's true secularism continue to prevail in Africa.